Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Dredge. Well last time we got a bigger boat, we got a better engine, and we finally found the location of the missing photographer. For whatever reason, they're out here on this random island in the middle of nowhere. So we found them, that's where we are right now. We're just going to dock up with them because we kind of ran away a bit in the night time from some terrifying visions. So we're now over here with the photographer. So I think because we are down in this part of the world, we might as well just have a little look around that island there and that island there just to see what's going on, to see if we can find anything interesting, any new kind of bits and bobs, new characters, anything worth dredging or whatever. We're just going to have a little look around there while we're down here anyway. And we could possibly try and find whatever fish the slightly weird, hungry, definitely not as weird sort of cultist person wanted, who he sort of happened across over here. Because there was that weird person who likes to snack on fish. They kind of eat raw fish and they just keep saying hungry at us. So, I mean, yeah, they're definitely not a cultist. Of course they're not. They're completely ordinary. So I think, yeah, they did want something. What do they want? I can't quite recall what they wanted. Hang on. Go to the cabin and go to pursuit. So what was it? They wanted a tiger mackerel. Okay, so can we find a tiger mackerel? Can we get one of those? Now, somebody did point out in the comments, if we just undock for a second, somebody pointed out that if we just... Oh, crikey, that was a big... That was a big lightning strike. The weather isn't great around here at the minute. It's a bad weather day. It's like the British summer we're having at the minute. So, yeah, somebody did point out that we could use our fancy... Where is it? That thing there, the spyglass. So, if we use a spyglass, we might be able to find... A, a, what was it again? I've completely forgotten. I did just look moments ago. A tiger mackerel. Okay, so if we use the spyglass, can we find tiger mackerel? There is something over there that we don't know what it is. I mean, where do we find, where do we find tiger mackerel? Abyssal. What does that mean? That sounds terrifying and slightly scary. Tiger mackerel. Over in that direction. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, how do we get out of that? Oh, like that. Okay, right. That's absolutely fine. So I think it was over in that direction. I think it was over here, was it? So hang on. Can we get the thing out again? Oh, <laughs> oh, it's not good doing that while we're on the sea, is it? Um, where were the tiger mackerel? They were over in that direction somewhere. Uh, is that them? That's blue mackerel. Oh, we've lost the tiger mackerel. Okay, I don't know where the tiger mackerel are. They might have been really far away for all I know. Um, okay. We'll head over in this direction and see if we can find any kind of fishing spots. It's a really bad day to be sailing about in the sea like this. It's a really, really bad day. There are many waves. Apologies if you have seasickness. Um, right, what are you lot? Are you tiger mackerel? I don't know what that is. We'll just go and grab one and see if it's a tiger mackerel. That is a blue mackerel. Okay, we're not interested in you. We like tiger mackerel. Um, okay, right, so get this spyglass thing back out again. Where were they? So that's some sort of abyssal thing. Uh, that is cod. Um, I, it did say tiger mackerel. I'm fairly certain it. That's abyssal. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, crikey. It's really hard to do this while the boat is going all over the place. We don't know what that is. We don't know what that is. Um, it was... Well, there's something to dredge over there. We might as well go and do that while we're there. Um, that's blue mackerel. I've lost the tiger mackerel. Uh, is that it? Tiger mackerel. Okay. Right, over in that direction, I think it was. <laughs> is it in that I don't know where it is. It was kind of over here, I think, maybe. I'm not entirely convinced. <laughs> Did we not just come from here? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. There's something here. What's that? Can we fish that? That looks huge. I don't know what it is, but can we fish it? Have we got the ability to do that? Yeah, oceanic. We can use the uh, sort of hook thing, thingamajig, the big kind of winch thing. Um, oh, a sailfish. Okay, that's massive. Um, okay, it can just fit in the boat. That thing is huge. Okay, we definitely want to sell that on because that's very good. Ah, this is a bit better. The seas have calmed down ever so slightly. So, with that now in mind, can we get that out again? There are tiger mackerel. I keep pressing escape to come out of that. We don't need to do that. It's just right click again. Right, okay. So over here, we will go to the tiger mackerel. I think this is where the tiger mackerel are. Are you tiger mackerel? Um, I hope you are. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Right, tiger mackerel. They look a bit like the blue mackerel. Possibly a bit stripier. I mean, they look the same to me. They're sort of tail fin bits at the end are a bit different. But okay, we'll grab another one of these because we're here. So we might as well. So there we go. Two of those. So took that down into there, possibly. Oh, it's a flayed mackerel, rended flesh with muscle and bone exposed. 
This gory mess of a fish can't have lived like this for long. Ugh. It doesn't have any kind of... It doesn't have any skin. Ugh, that's a bit grim. Yeah, it's been flayed. Okay, right, that's a bit sinister. We're going to pick up a normal one as well, just because I want to see a normal one now. There we go. Okay, that was pretty good. That was quite good. I think what we possibly could do right now... In fact, what time is it? It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Our sort of, um, our fishmonger friend is over there. So there's the fishmonger over there on the big island, on the Marrows. But there's also the one over there on the dock, on the little kind of floating dock thing. It might be worth just grabbing a few more of these while we can, while we're here. So we can grab another, what, one of these possibly? Possibly, yeah, another one of these. So we'll do that. So we'll just grab that. There we go. So pop that like that. And then we'll head over there. And we'll sell almost all of these things on, except the one tiger mackerel. And then, if we have time, which I suspect we might not have time to do, actually. But if we do have time, we could then... Hang on, dodge out the way of that thing. And we might be able to go and drop the tiger mackerel off. I don't think we're going to have time at all. Let's just dock over here for now, shall we? So do a bit of docking. Right, hello, fish market. Right, absolutely. Right, want to keep... We'll get rid of that, so we'll sell these individually. So sell that for a bit of money. Sell the blue mackerel for money. Sell that tiger mackerel, that tiger mackerel, and that tiger mackerel. How much do we get for the sailfish? 125 monies. Okay, that's very, very good. That's not too shabby at all. And then if we undock and have a little look around again, uh, oceanic perch, tiger mackerel. They were right out there, right in front of us all that time. Okay, maybe... We just go and catch a few of those, just while we've got a bit of daylight left, because we can, because they're nice and simple to catch. Just grab a few of these, try and catch them quickly if we can. They're quite hard to grab, like that. Oh, botherations, that's not going to help though, is it? There we go, that's a bit better. Um, right, that's depleted. It is getting a little bit late, but I think we can possibly... Oh, hang on, we might catch a sort of a, uh, a mutated version of these whatever this is. So that is a black sea bass. Okay, we've not found one of those yet, I don't think. Is that what? Oh, okay. We've found a weird one with a gigantic eye. Shapes swirl inside bulging clouded eyes, blinded by the light of the surface, but perfectly suited to searching the depths. Okay, that's a bit weird as well. That's a little bit obscure looking, isn't it? Uh, um, okay, right. We're not having a good time of fishing these things. <laughs> there we go. That's a bit better. And one last one, just to finish it off before it gets too late. Yeah, it is a bit late now. So what we're going to do is... Oh, oh yeah, it's, um, it's very foggy. Oh, there's weird things. There's weird shapes. Quickly, just dock anywhere. <laughs> Pull up to the dock, please. Someone hug us. There we go. Right. Go to the fish market, which is open very, very late, if we're being honest. Um, oh, yeah, crab pots. Where have we put those? Okay, right, so sell that weird-looking thing. And then, yeah, we want to keep a tiger mackerel. Sell the black sea bass. In fact, hang on, sell all that. Um, what was the thing that we were supposed to go and look for? We were supposed to go and look for a few bits of boss. Pursuits, right, so catch rare fish. Um, ah, right, none of the ones that we've got so far. So, Oarfish, Gulpreel, Goliath, Tigerfish, and Coelacanth. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, we also need to get a conger eel. Can we find a conger eel anywhere? I'm not quite sure, but... Okay, so, we can get rid of... Yeah, keep the tiger mackerel. So, get rid of that, and get rid of that. Wonderful. And then, we shall have a lovely night's sleep over here on the little kind of floating dock thingy. That's very welcome. And then we will head over. Hang on. Can we put down a little kind of marker? I'm fairly certain. There, there. Place marker is F. Oh, we can put down all sorts of bits and bobs. Okay, so I think... Let's put down... Oh, you can mark where things can be exploded. That's quite fun. I think we'll put that down. Oh, no. No, not there. No, re remove. Remove marker. Want to put it... Kind of... Oh, hang on. Right, we have to move the map around. Okay, so put the marker there. So I'm fairly certain that is where the mysterious kind of uh, hungry person is. So does that now appear on the map? Do we have that show up on our map at all? Uh, are we going in the right direction? Uh, sort of. We need to kind of head, I mean, round that thing. I think they're over there. Are they over there in that kind of little collection of islands? I'm not quite sure. 
Uh, what have we got just here? Ooh, okay. Have we caught these before? We'll catch something as we go past. An oceanic perch. Oh, it's teeny tiny. Okay, well, we'll just grab one of those for now. What's that over there? Can we grab something big worth a lot of money? You lot, what are you? You are... I don't think I've caught one of these before. Whatever it might be, I don't know. A sturgeon. I've heard of those before. They're quite big fish. Okay, all right. Got a sturgeon. That's quite good. Um... Were they over here? Where was the hungry person? I'm sure they're around here somewhere. That's where they're... Oh, yeah, hang on. Hang on. Are they not over that side? They're not there. Round the corner. That's where... The, oh, that, that thing's a terrifying monster. Yeah, that treasure, that sort of a sunken ship, sorry, is a big kind of monster thing. So where was the... Uh, oh, they over there. Oh, hang on a minute. Maybe I've come entirely to the wrong place. Okay, remove that marker... And we'll put the marker there. I think maybe that's where the hungry person was. Okay, so place a marker. And we'll just put down a question mark, actually. That could be quite good. So if we then head in a westerly direction. Are they over there? Are we now pointing in the right direction? Uh, yes. Okay, right. So we need to head over in that direction. I think they're over there. I'm fairly certain. And while we're here, where's our super speedy thing? Uh, yeah, haste. Let's use a bit of that, shall we? Just to get a bit of a wriggle on. We won't do anything too bad to our sanity, but we'll just come around. Yeah, I think they're round here, aren't they? Are they on the corner of this island here, possibly? Hungry person, where are you? Are you over there? No. Are you round this corner here, possibly? Oh, we've lost the hungry person. We've got them some delicious fish. I think they're round here, look. I think. Yeah, there they are. Hello, hi, inspect. Hello, hooded figure, who's definitely not some sort of creepy cultist. More still empty. They point to the shape on the second scroll. It looks like a tiger mackerel. Oh, well, would you look at that? We've got one of those for you to eat. They again rip into the flesh of the fish, drawing out its heart. It's consumed as quickly as the first. Completely ordinary. Almost fulfilled. They point to fish in the final scroll. This one is a snake mackerel. Okay, we've not found one of those yet. A coastal thing. Okay, so can we potentially see one of those? Uh, hang on, so now we can go and get the spyglass out again. So what's out right in front of us? That's a gulf flounder. Can we see a snake mackerel anywhere? A uh, blue mackerel. Um, Hadal. What does that mean? What kind of thing is that? Normally it says like oceanic or whatever. That's blue mackerel. That's a cod. Um, that's one of those massive sailfish. We could go and get one of those for a bit of money. And that might be quite good to do. Just for a bit of cash. Anything over in that direction? That's going back towards sort of home. Blue mackerel. Blue mackerel. Um, I can't see where they might be. But I would like to go and get it done. I keep pressing escape to clear out of that menu. Okay, I would like to go and get that done. But failing that, because I don't think we can right now, I think let's head back to the islands over there. Unless that's what we're looking for. A bronze whale. Oh, they're quite big. They're big chonky things. They make quite a lot of money. Hang on, can we grab them? Because they do make a decent bit of cash for us. We will have a few of these. Um... Okay, when I say a few, maybe one, possibly one of these. Okay, hang on, can we rejig things around? We might possibly struggle to get another one in the boat. Um, oh no, there we go. Right, two of those, that's all we can kind of fit in right now. But that's okay, that'll make some good cash. We can use that for upgrades and things. Um, okay, hang on, we'll just have a little look around again. What was that? A blackmouth salmon. Okay, tiger mackerel, of course. Anything over here? There was something there. Another sailfish. Okay, never mind. Right, let's head back over here and we shall sell those fish on because, again, you know, profit's good. We can use that for all sorts of things. And then we'll have to try and figure out what we can do. Can we find whatever the thing that the mysterious, definitely not a cultist, wanted? I do not know. I'm not entirely sure. However, what we can do, we can pull up to the dock in a bit of a weird way. I thought we'd go around the other side, but okie doke, there we go. Right, go to the fish market. And um, yeah, we'll sell all that. Sell all the fish. 246 monies. We're back over a grand. That's magnificent. Can we 
do some... Uh, hang on. Floating dock, isn't it? So the next thing is a new hull. Okay. Is it worth potentially loading a few things into here that we've got just kind of hanging around? Because, yeah, we've got various bits and bobs. I mean, we can put definitely put one of the big bits of um, metal scrap in there. That's absolutely fine. Uh, a bolt of cloth. Just put that in across the top. And one of the big bits of metal. Just put one of those in as well because we might as well just use it up for something. And we've got a big bit of wood. Let's pop that in there. So we need three more bits of wood, two more bits of cloth, and one more bit of the refined metal. I think she's selling the refined metal. How much is it as well? 800 monies. Good grief. Um, I'm fairly certain she's selling that. Uh, go to the random bits and bobs. Yeah, for 500 money. That is hugely expensive. But we could buy it if we wanted to and treat ourselves to research part as well. And then we just have to go fishing a lot to make up some more money. Um, oh, hang on. That can go into storage. That can go into storage. Freeze up some space. Do you know what? Let's do it. Let's buy the refined metal for a huge amount of money. And we'll buy the research part as well. There we go. Right. Pop those into storage. And then, um, yeah, move that out. There. Oh, no. Oh, I just bought that, didn't I? I thought that was our inventory, but no, hang on, refund. Yeah, put that back. I don't want that. Didn't want that. Sorry. Uh, okay, go back to the shipyard. Uh, no, the dock. Go back to the floating dock and then go to storage so we can pick up the other bit of metal and put that into there. So that's wonderful. So that's looking pretty good. Happy with that. And then I think what we can do is we can then go and have a look at our research stuff. We've got one research part. And I think the plan is to get the versatile rod researched. Because at the moment, we have to have a special rod there that can do volcanic fishing, and a special rod there that can do mangrove fishing. So that's volcanic and shallow, and that's mangrove and coastal. And it's going to be a bit of a faff having to kind of switch around rods all the time, depending on where we go. That one can do everything. So I think it's worth unlocking that. So let's get that done, shall we? So put one research part into that. We need another three. But that's absolutely fine. Okie doke. Wonderful stuff. I think right now it's quite late, isn't it? Do you know what? We'll just head out into the sort of uh, into the dock, the dock, the uh, bay nearby and just grab a few quick things while we're over here. We'll just grab some nice, easy things. But this is all good. It can all just make a little bit of money to kind of recoup what we just lost there because we just spend a huge amount of cash. So, yeah, we'll just go and sort of top back up a bit. Just grab a few fish here and there. That's been depleted as well. We don't want it to get too late because I think, yeah, the um, there is still that terrifying serpent monster thing around. We don't want to mess around with that too much. What is this funny looking thing? An enthralled stonefish. Oh, it's a mutated one. A hollowed husk hosting a hostile dweller. The eyes inside begin their search for a safer vessel. Oh, it's kind of... It's possessed or something. It's got kind of a thing living inside it. Uh, okay, that's what they normally look like. Right, can we grab a few of these? Because we've got enough room for a few more. Got enough room for one more of these. We might as well. Um, yeah, okay. There we go. Got four of those. Let's now head back over there. We'll sell those on. Have a lovely night's sleep. And then, yeah, we'll start a brand new day tomorrow. And I think we'll sort of head around. Let's pull up to the dock, shall we? We'll, um... We'll head around this island because, as well, we do need to find an eel. We've got to find a particular type of eel because somebody wants one of those to, you know, the, that's then gone off a little bit that we can then sell on. Oh, I've got a surprise for you, a gift for my most loyal customer. Here, I want you to have this. Art of the Silver Tongue added to the cabin. Oh, it's a book. It's a book. She takes a book from a nearby shelf and hands it to you. Flicking through it, you see page corners turned in and handwritten notes in the margins. Oh, it's a proper book that you've kind of annotated and everything. Oh, that's wonderful. Right, sell all that. 143 money. And we shall go. Hang on, come out of that. We shall go and equip our new book. Ah, to the Silver Tongue. So that's going to be us getting better at kind of uh, bartering and selling and stuff. That's going to be really good. That might help us get a little bit more money. Okay, right. Go to bed. This is going to be fine. So rest until dawn. Lovely, lovely early start again. Why don't we set our alarm for seven o'clock? Let's have a bit of a lie in one day. And then what did the person want again? So go back to here. So a snake mackerel or a conga eel. 
Okay, so can we find a conga eel? Whereabouts would they be? Like, I don't really know where a conga eel would be found. I'm not entirely sure. Have we seen one before? Um, no, there are plenty of things we haven't caught. I mean, there's quite a lot of things that we have. But I'm sure there's quite a lot of things that we haven't as well. I don't think we've caught any... Oh, here we go. Eels. Okay, there's a few eels in the shallow water. But I don't think we've got any conga eels. I mean, where would a conga eel live? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Right, I think that can be our goal for today. Look for either... What was it again? <laughs> I can't remember the names. A snake mackerel or a conga eel. I think maybe we'll undock and we'll sort of have a look around here. What's over here? There's something just there. Are you snake mackerels or conga eels? You are... I don't know what you are. Something. You're a fish. Uh, a blackmouth salmon. Okay, that's a thing we could possibly sell on. Uh, let's go... I think... Do you know what we didn't do? We didn't go into the middle of the thing over here, did we? There was a big bit in the middle that we opened up and we didn't go in. I wonder if it's worth looking at that. Keep our eye out for the terrifying kind of beastie thing. Um, oh, this is one of these rock flounder things, whatever it was. Uh, oh, stonefish, that's it. Right, we'll have one of those, thank you. I am very wary that there is a big terrifying fish around here. A big gigantic thing. Um, it could potentially be a bit nearby. We'll head over here. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. There's a, gi a giant waterfall. Okay. So we could have made our way here anyway, because we can get here from the outside. Uh, right, the big kind of thing is over there. The big sort of scary thing is over there. Um, there's rock falls going on and all sorts. There was something just here. There. There's something just there. What is that? Can we get to this without the big terrifying monster thing seeing us? What's this? Oh, it's something to dredge. Okay, right. It's some lovely shinies. We will have the lovely shiny things. Thank you so much. It's, what is that? A doubloon. A single doubloon. Okay, right. We found one individual bespoke doubloon. Okay, lovely. Right, if we can get the, um, get the spyglass thing out. Uh, that's a black mouth salmon. Can we see anything else? Some dredging stuff over there. And that's kind of it. Okay, nothing overly exciting around here then. That's a bit of a shame, but never mind. Oh, over there, hang on, what's that? That is a dredging thing, that's a perch. That's, oh, okay, I keep pressing that button, stop it. Um, over there is some stuff we do need to dredge because that, I think, is cloth and we need that to do our kind of big fancy upgrade thing. So let's grab this while we're going by. Okay, I think maybe the big monster thing might be nearby because the screen has gone red and, okay, right, our engine has been damaged. The peculiar engine has been damaged. Has the thing gone away? Yes, it's gone away, but we did just take a hit. I think we've got everything. Right, one of our lights is out, and yeah, our engine is broken. So we are going to be moving around a little bit slower, which is a bit of a nuisance. Right, hang on, quickly check what some of these things are. That's a sturgeon. That is an oceanic perch. That's a sturgeon. Okay, right, nothing overly thrilling over there. Um... Okay, do we grab this really quickly? What is that? That's just some bits. Unless it's a research part, which would be quite useful if it's just... Yes, yeah, metal scraps. Okay, that's fine. Don't get any more metal scraps. I'm a little bit... Parent. Hang on. Hang on. Are they eels? Are you eels? Oh, it looks eely. It looks eely. Please be the thing we want. It's a conger eel. Okay, we've got a conger eel. Right, we need that to go off. We need that to go mouldy. A delicious mouldy conger eel is what we'd like. Okay. Uh, oh, we're down to one light, aren't we? We're down to one light on the boat. Oh, there's weird shapes. Right, hang on. There's that handy dock over here. <laughs> I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't think I'd feel any safer hanging around in this place there. But I suppose it's better than other places. Um, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna mess around. We're gonna have a rest. We're just gonna have a rest. There's something weird going on over there. Look. There's something weird happening there. Is there an aberra a sort of aberration fish over there, possibly? Have we got room? Um, okay, we might have crashed a little bit there. What is that? Oh, it's gone. Oh, yeah, I assume because it got to morning, the sort of uh, type of stuff around here has changed, doesn't it? Um, okay, we will go this way. We're going to go through the middle of here. 
We have to keep that conger reel with us. Don't sell that because we have to wait for it to go lovely and moldy. There's some rock falls. <laughs> okay, there's the big terrifying fish. Big terrifying fish is coming for us. Might have nearly crashed into a wall, but I didn't crash into a wall. Look at that, everybody. I didn't crash into a wall. <laughs> go us. Um, okay, we're going to try and go around here. It's all fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> ah, right. Lovely. There's a sunken boat there and some fish. Right, we're going to come back here. We need to get some repairs done. Because, yeah, we are going... I mean, it's noticeably slower. It's way slower than what we're used to. So, okay. Pop back over here. There's a lot of rockfalls going on. Okay, go to the fish market. And we don't want to sell that, but we can sell all the other bits and bobs. So, that's rotting. Okay, so not much for that. That's rotting as well. Oh, because we waited overnight. That's a bit stale, but that's okay. And now I think what we do is we come out of that bit and then we go into our storage so we can pop uh, that can go into storage. That's fine. And then we can go into the floating dock, go into that and we can put in the two rolls of cloth. There we go. That is wonderful. So they're done. So cloth is done. We now just need three bits of wood, three bits of wood required, um, but we do need to do some repairs. So, okay, that's all sorted. Now we can go to the shipyard and we can get repaired for only 60 money. Do you know what? That's okay. That's a bit of a bargain for fixing the lights and the engine and everything else. Right, that's all sorted out. And now, I mean, yeah, what are we looking for again? I can't remember the name of these things. I need to sort of write them down or then to be like, can we have them in the corner? Can we sort of have it sort of marked down somewhere? Um, a snake mackerel. Okay, they're going for all the mackerels. Okay, so blue mackerel, tiger mackerel, snake mackerel. I don't know where to get one of those, but I would love to get that done if we could. I would love to get that sorted. Um, and then, yeah, we just need to kind of hang around for a bit until that eel we've got goes a bit mouldy. And then we can give that away to somebody. Uh, where are the crabbing pots? They're all the way back over there. I mean, they're going to have completely fallen apart by now. They're going to be in a really bad way. I think maybe let's use our magical teleporting thingamajig. So undock from there. What we'll do is we'll use our thing. So manifest. Okay, so manifest back to yes. We sort of explode and reappear back over here. That's a very good effect. I really like that. Um, and then we'll try and get the spyglass. So right, tiger mackerel. I've remembered what it is. That's dredging, that's cod, that's blue mackerel, any tiger mackerel, any tiger mackerel, anywhere around. That's where the, um, that's where the mysterious figure is. The definitely not a cultist. Um, okay, what have we got over there? That's a gulf flounder, bronze whalers, pick them up as we go past, possibly eels, flounders. What was that? What was that blue mackerel? Uh, bronze whalers, grey eels, grey eels, gulf flounders, oh crikeys. Okay, there's all the other mackerels, but just not the ones that we want, which is a bit of a nuisance. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our crabbing pots, which are over here, which will be full and probably very broken by now. Um, oh, oh, what was, what was that? What was that? There was a thing. There was a thing that appeared underneath us. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, Dredge. Don't do that to me. Okay, take all those things. So we've got many, many, many crabs. And um, yeah, we'll pick up the pot as well. Okay, now I'm really on edge. <laughs> Didn't like that. What was that? It was a terrifying thing. Right, take all of that. And also pick up that pot as well. And don't ever do that to us again, game. Because that was, that was a bit scary. Right, let's go back over here to... Sort of, you know, home, sweet home, sort of. And, uh, yeah, we'll sell all these kind of crabs on, because that might get us a decent bit of money. Must remember not to sell the other thing. Don't sell the other thing. So, we have to sell lots of individual crabs, which is a bit of a nuisance, but never mind. Uh, and then we'll get the um, the things repaired as well. What do you get for that? 533 for a crab. Okay, fine. We'll just sell all these crabs. There we go. Don't sell the big eel. How is the eel doing? It's stale. Okay, so it's still in an okay condition. It's not brilliant, but it's you know, still not quite as rotting as it needs to be. Um, and then we'll head over to 
the is it the shipwright that repairs the things? Yeah, so 40 money to repair the crab pots. And then we'll head back out. We'll put them back down again over there somewhere. Because that makes sense. In fact, they only got little crabs there, didn't they? What if we put them over here somewhere? So uh, crab pots. 5.9 meters, 6.3, 6. .3, 6 right, drop one there. And then drop another one maybe over here. 7 meters. There we go. So drop that. We'll go and catch a couple of these. Because they do make a nice bit of money. And they're quite big. So there we go. Pop one of them uh, in like that. Is the other one going to fit around the edge? I'm not quite sure. We'll make it fit if we catch it by you know, not being rubbish at fishing. Um, yeah, where, how is that going to fit again? <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. We need to do some fish Tetris. Please hold the line. Okay, there we go. They're both in. We had to move the eel around a bit because that was in a bit of an unfortunate place. But there we go. So they're all in. And then while we're around, we could pay a quick trip to the person over there to the jeweler over here just to sell on all the stuff we found because that's just kind of clogging up inventory space so we might as well sell it on so let's go and do that shall we over to the trader found anything special we found some random old tad you can have that it's absolutely fine so sell that doubloon for all of 50 money and then into storage um yeah you can have that bag of doubloons and a goblet for 35 and a silver trinket for 30 and some more doubloons for 55 Okay, so back up to 567 money, which isn't too shabby at all. Um, right, undock, and I think, have we got any, is there anything we could dredge? Are there any dredgeable items around here? There's sometimes something around here, isn't there? Is it around this bit? There's sometimes, yeah, there, look. oh, it might be bits of wood. It might be bits of wood. That is what we need to complete our new kind of uh, big boaty project. And a big pile of money, of course. But the wood is also required. So if we could grab this. Um, oh, it, it's just one bit. It's one bit of wood. Do you know what? Better than no bits of wood at all. I think then we'll head back for now. I don't think we can fit much else in the boat. Because we have got those two gigantic big kind of fish thingamabobs in there. So we'll head back here. We shall then go to the fishmonger. We're not going to sell the eel, because I think when we wake up in the morning, that's going to be horribly, horribly mouldy. So sell that thing for 92, and that thing for 95, because it was a bit bigger. And then we can go over to the dry dock, go to that thing, pick that up, put that in there. Two more bits of wood required, and a little bit of money as well. Wonderful. Okay, that's good. So I think now we'll have a bit of a rest. Bit of an early night for us, but that's okay. We'll go to the pub or something. We'll sit down, have a lovely cup of tea in the pub or whatever. And uh, yeah, get an early night and then back up again at six o'clock in the morning. Right, there we go. Brand new day, day 38. Big question, how is the eel looking? Does it look horrible and rotten? How is it? Yes, it is. It's rotting. And that is what they wanted. That is wonderful. So I think it might be worth... What we're going to do is we're going to undock. And I think we're going to go... Hang on, so that's that direction. I think maybe we head out to just here, possibly, on the other side of Little Marrow, and we'll maybe have a look around in this area here with the spyglass to see if we can find any, whatever they are, tiger mackerel. Can we see any of those around anyway? Not tiger mackerel. Whatever it was, the mackerel we're looking for. I can't remember what it was again. What was it? We found a tiger one, I think, didn't we? A snake mackerel. That's it. Can we find a snake mackerel anywhere? I mean, I'm fairly certain that isn't one. But, I mean, yeah, the chappy is over in... Hang on a minute. Is over in... Are we going east? Uh, do we want to go east? Yeah, want to go east. So, yeah, the chappy is sort of... What's that big island there? Have we been there before? Uh, that's Steel Point. We've only been to one bit of that. We've not really been around that before. I mean, maybe... Maybe there's something over here. And of course, the more we do kind of drive around, the more we are reading that book, which is really good. So can we now go and grab our spyglass? And can we look around? Bronze, whalers, cod, anything. Bronze, whalers, what's that? Uh, ooh, okay. That could be useful. There's some wood over there. We do need a bit of that. Another massive sailfish, a cod. Don't know what that is over there. That is uh, potentially a sort of... Uh, Horribly lurgy, sort of weird mutant uh, normal fish over there. Uh, where was the where was the bits of wood? Because we do need some bits of wood. 
Let's head over here, look and grab this. Yeah, there we go. This is wonderful. We'll grab this stuff. There's a little kind of camp there. Who's over there? Hello. Can we go and have a chat with whoever that might be? We're grabbing some resources first. Um, oh, a research part, you say? Okay. The final state of all living things. Okay. The eel has now turned into some rot. Right. Okay, we can't leave the eel too long in a state of rotting. I thought it was going to stay there forever. Oh, botherations. Okay. <laughs> right. That did not go according to plan. Oh, botherations. Okay, right. Never mind. You live and learn. Um, yeah, so it's going to have to be rotting. And then we're going to have to get rid of it pretty quickly. Right, there we go. Um, oh, SOS. Is there somebody here? There's a castaway. Hello, I'm saved, I'm saved. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes. Um, what happened? I washed up here. Oh, it must be some two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas, and when a wave hit us broadside, I was jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have come to find me by now, but yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? I'm going to be truthful. I'm going to say no. No, they did not. Oh, well, I'm sure they're out there looking anyways. Can you get me to Little Marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them there when they next stop by. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll take you to Little Marrow. Hop on board. Uh, yeah, there you go. Cla the castaway climbs aboard. Oh, okay. That's quite good, I think. Uh, right, can we find the snake thingamabobs? Bronze whalers. Um, whatever that was. That doesn't look like a snake mackerel. Sailfish. <laughs> Stingray, stingray, da -da -da -da. Um, okay. I don't know if we're ever going to find these things. We find lots of bronze whalers. Um, anything over in that direction? Sailfish? No. Okay. Never mind. Maybe we'll just head back with this chappy. Uh, there's a bit of land there that I might possibly crash into. We're just going to have a poke around this island for a bit, actually. Because, yeah, we are reading our book, which is quite good. Is there anything over here? Is there anything around here? Can we please find these mysterious, whatever they are, mackerel? Where are the mysterious mackerel? Are you mysterious mackerel? Can you please be mysterious mackerel? Your cod. Very disappointing. I want a mysterious mackerel. Um, okay, let me have a quick look around so we can find any more, whatever they were, snake mackerels. Hang on. Is that one over there? That might be one all the way over there. It's quite a long way away, but I think that's one over there. It's really, really distant. And if we do go and get it, it's likely that we are going to be sort of uh, coming back in the dark. But I think it's probably worth doing. Hang on, we might need to use haste to get there before before it gets too dark. Because they will probably change into something else. It was over in this direction somewhere. We've got maybe a couple of hours. Was that a whale? I think a whale just popped up just there. Hello? <laughs> okay, right. Keep going in this direction. Got about an hour now. We have to find where they are. Where were they? Okay, right, hang on. Stop still. Let's have a look around. Because when we stop still, time doesn't move on. It's all brilliant. Right, where were they? They were over in this direction somewhere. Please don't have gone away. <laughs> um, okay, where? There. Over there. Okay, right. So rotate it round that way a little bit. Oh no, are we going to get them? We're into really, really uncharted waters here. Right, hang on a second. There, I can see where the little kind of thing is on the surface. We might need to do some haste. We might need to do some haste to get over it. Are we just going to miss out on these things? Right, hang on. Fish. Okay. When F... Oh, hang on. We can catch it faster if we do that thing. Oh, crikeys. Okay. A snake mackerel. We've got one. We did it. And now we're out in the middle of nowhere and it's terrifying. <laughs> okay. Oh, a serpentine mackerel. It lashes out with its teeth, its tail. A hissing rises from its mouth and then from the water around you. Oh, that's not horrific at all. Oh, it's like a special one. It's a special yellowy one. And we've got a trophy mackerel. Okay, this is going very well. This is going wonderfully well. And we've got another one. Um, okay, sorry, Castaway. We got a bit distracted. And now all sorts of terrifying things are going to happen. What's that over there? Is there a dock? Can we please go to the dock? <laughs> I don't like it. I'm too scared. I'm very scared of all the things. Yeah, weird things are happening. That looks like a dock to me. We're just going to pull up to the dock. We're going to ignore the terrifying lights. Right, there's a dock. I mean, there's some terrifying kind of shapes up in the background. 
A man meets you as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. We're not in the mood. We're terrified. There's all sorts of weird things happening. Oh, rapturous day, a fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. I'd rather not. I'm going to stay on my boat, thank you. I'm, I'm just passing through. Nonsense! Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. I have been calling, and now you are the answer. I don't think I am. I'm not the answer. You, you asked the wrong question. The rite of purification is almost at hand, and you are able to be my... Uh, so you are to be my replacement. Okay. I'm listening, or I should get going. Uh, okay, I'm listening. It's got an exciting kind of thing. By your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Happiness, sadness, or emptiness? Happiness. We want happiness. Huh. Merely an excuse to hold the search for something greater. Happiness is, by definition, a compromise. And your flesh, what does it crave? The warmth of the sun, the sting of the salt, the chill of the water, the warmth of the sun, and pina coladas. And yet it eludes you. Darkness is cast over the rest of your days. You're not a cheerful man. You're not helping our mood. Look, we're already terrified. Finally, what does the world deserve? Everything. It deserves much better things, does the world. Really lovely, nice things, like, you know, cups of tea and kittens and the aforementioned pina coladas. In a way, it is as all that is washed ashore, freely given from the deep, but no more than that. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as Herald of the Purge, just as I was for the one before me. Okay... The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearts of these three idols are like barren and void. Oh, kind of big statuary things over there. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Okay, this sounds a little bit frightening. Okay, visit the shrines of the deep. I will mark them. They will offer further guidance and I must provide no more. Okay, so we've happened across an ancient temple. Uh, oh, crikey. We're right up here in the Devil's Spine. We have gone a very, very long way in the pursuit of a fish. Um, okay, what we're going to do is we are going to go to bed. So we're going to have a lovely rest right now. Uh, and we're going to have a nice chat with our passenger. Because, of course, we do have a passenger. That is really pretty. Look at that. That's magnificent. We're going to undock there and just have a little look around. Actually, hang on. Don't we have some sort of... We've got a camera. Don't we have some sort of photo mode or something? I'm not quite sure how that works. I mean, yeah, if we just look around, look at that. That's really lovely to look at. That's very pretty. Um, I think what we'll do is uh, we need to head... What do we need to do? Head south. Let's head directly south right now. Just, just, just go south and just go away from that for now. We'll come back and do that. We're going to give the hungry chappy his whatever it was, his... Uh, his snake mackerel thing. We're going to give him that, and then we can go and sell the other ones on. They might be a little bit kind of mouldy by now, but hopefully the one that we give the chappy, the hungry chappy, will be okay for consumption. I mean, really, he just rips the heart out anyway, so he's probably going to be fine with it. Okay, there he is. Hello, how are you? I'll put you some stuff. Almost fulfilled. Okay, right. Snake mackerel. We've got one for you there. It's a bit stale. It's a bit stale, but it's, you know, it's okay. It's edible. You only want the heart anyway. The fish has barely left your hands before splintered nails begin peeling at its scales. The heart is extracted and devoured. Their head tilts up was to look at you. Oh, they take a book from inside their robe and hand it over. Haggling and bartering, I think that said. Hunger sated. Now I wait. They cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep sleep. Okay... Uh, pleasure meeting you. It wasn't weird at all. Goodbye. <laughs> that was a bit strange. Uh, right. Okay. Let's head back over here and we'll drop off the castaway. We'll drop the castaway off. We'll check the net so we might just do some you know, regular ordinary fishing because you know, we could do making a bit of money, I suppose. And we have done a kind of a weird thing. We happened across a weird temple just then. So maybe just some ordinary fishing might be quite a nice thing to do just to, you know, keep us a bit more sane. Although... Hang on a second. How is storage looking? Could we rejig things so we can hold um, hold another thing? Hang on. Get rid of the passenger. Get rid of the passenger. There is some wood there. And if we could upgrade our boat, that would be fantastic. If we could do that, that would be brilliant. Right. 
Here we go. Castaway. The sweet, rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to. Persona has just been saved. He seems gloomy. I've not got much on me, as you can imagine. And I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore. For me, at least. But perhaps it'll be worth something to you. He removes a signet ring from his left hand and presses it into yours. It's emblazoned with the symbol of a captain's wheel. Oh, such a symbol is sure to bring good luck to any captain that holds it. Okay, on to better horizons, friend. Farewell. Right, so we've dropped off the castaway and he's given us a mysterious kind of ring thingamajig. Okay, that's interesting. Don't quite know what to do with that right now, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. Um, and yeah, let's head over here. And we will, if we can, just sort of park up. And uh, yeah, we'll grab this wood. If there are two bits over here, that would be completely brilliant. Please be two bits. I think there are. I think there are going to be two bits of wood. We might be able to upgrade our boat. This is going to be amazing. Right, okay, grab this bit of wood. So there we go. That's two bits. We've got three left. I think that's what we need. Um, okay, check the crabbing parts because we're going past. Uh, yep, take all of that. That's pretty good. And where's the other one? Over there. So take all of this stuff. Pull up there. Uh, ooh. Okay. That's that's a bit full. We might have to come back for that one, possibly. Right, hang on. Wait there. Let's go and see the, fi the fisherman. We're the fisherman. Go and see the fishmonger and sell that on. And then maybe we might need to nip back and just pick up those crabs. But uh, right. First job. Head over here. And now we can sell all the fish again. We don't have to kind of sell them individually. We can get rid of all of these fish here for a mere 83 monies. Is it because they're a bit stale? It might be because they're a bit stale. Okay, that's pretty good. And now go to the dry dock, go to here and put in, it was only two bits of wood we need. Okay, so put those two in and we could get the upgrade. Tier three hull, nine new cargo spaces. So we can take five hits. Do you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna buy the upgrade. Okay, we've got a new hull. Let's go and have a quick look. Uh, oh, it's huge. Oh, it's gigantic. Okay, that's very, very exciting. Look at that. That's wonderful. That's really good. Okay, right. That was well worth doing. Just a quick trip out to the crab pots. Hang on, just go and pick that up because yeah, the crab pots can't fill it with anything else. Um, we might possibly get attacked by these sort of mysterious ghost fish thing, but we should be okay. So take all of that. And then immediately head back over here to the fishmonger, sell that on. Unless it's worth picking up some of this while we're here. We could do a little bit of this because, you know, we need to recoup a little bit of the money that we just spent. So we could potentially... Oh, we've got so much room in the boat. It's ridiculous. Look, at loads of space now. This is wonderful. Um, no squid over there. It's getting a bit late. Let's go back home and um, yeah, sell that stuff on. Try to yeah recoup a little bit of the loss. And we'll see where we are. So pull up over there, go to the fishmonger, sell all the stuff. 139 monies, that's a bit better. And a research part. So we shall invest that immediately into the fancy kind of versatile rod thingamajig. And I think, what else have we got to do? How near are we to finishing that book? 84% complete. 84%. Um, I wonder... What can we do right now? I mean, okay, yeah, we missed out on the chance to get the um, that rotting eel to somebody. Is it worth just going to pick another one up and then just kind of hanging around for three days? Because it doesn't matter what the time's like. It doesn't matter what's going on. We could nip down to the other place, nip down to the place where we were before, the Cliff's place. That might complete that book by the time we get there. And then we can catch that eel and then just spend an entire three days doing some regular fishing, make some money again and then give them the eel. I think that's what we do, because we nearly had that done. We nearly had that done, and we've kind of, you know, ever so slightly missed out on that one. So I think that's what we're going to do. So right now, we shall have a lovely sleep, and then we're going to wake up in the morning, and we'll head back out to Gale Cliffs whilst reading our book. I kind of feel like we should possibly pay more attention, but that's okay. So let's head back over there, and um, yeah, we'll read our book as we go, and hopefully, hang on, which direction is it again? It's that direction also, that map marker, 
we can get rid of that one now that can go away that's fine um yeah let's head over in that direction and to oh, hang on we can catch some fish whilst we're going past because these are good money um yes we'll head down to there do some fishing catch an eel wait for it to go a bit moldy and then um and then you'll hopefully be able to hand it over so quite a bit of time might pass between now and then because we're just going to be doing this just kind of going around and doing regular fishing but there we go we'll see when we come back it's currently what day 40 so when are we going to come back and how much money will we have we'll find out and we finished reading our book which is very good however i think maybe the giant terrifying monster fish might be back yeah there it is okay we'll dodge past the terrifying monster fish um okay right is it still chasing us that's the big question. So we're down here. We're down back at the cliffs. We sold one lot of fish. But yeah, we're waiting for the eels to come out. Because I think they came out at night time, didn't they? Um, I don't think that fish is going to get us right now. So can we quickly see what that book did? So 10% increase sell prices and 10% reduce buy prices. That's very good. And now we'll start reading Haggling and Bartering. Which I think is going to be quite similar to that one. But okay, there we go. So we should be able to make a bit more money off of things now which would be wonderful um if we could find the eels that would be excellent where did we find them before i don't know and now i'm out in the big wide sea at night time and i'm a bit scared where were the eels they were around here somewhere they were over here somewhere but now it's just too dark to work out where they were there there they were okay right catch us an eel nice and quick come on then let's just get this done and then go to that nice dock uh Okay, we've got a mutanty one. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Let's just try and catch another one that isn't a weird one. There we go, another conger eel. Uh, we might as well just sort of catch another one whilst we're here. And then pop that in like that. And then we can go right round here and hide out of that dock just there. And then just have a lovely time on this tiny island. Try not to crash too much. Um, something just plopped into the water there. What was that? And then we can go to bed. Right, so we'll now just wait for that one eel to go mouldy. We'll sell the other ones. And then, um, yeah, we'll just do some regular kind of fishing. Can we have a look at the um, what it's like already? Right, they're all fresh. So there is going to be a bit of time. So here we go. Let's go and do some fishing and just kind of, you know, kick around a bit and just do some ordinary bits and bobs. Stock up on resources and wood and such like until that fish has gone all rotten. But not too rotten that it turns into a horrible pile of kind of mouldy goo. Right, okay. Six o'clock in the morning on day 42. We've got up to 712 monies, which is pretty good. And look at that. We have a lovely rotting conger reel. How delightful. So I think before that turns into proper actual horrible kind of goo we go and get rid of that it's only over there look so please hold on conger eel don't turn into horrible rotting goo entirely just yeah just hang on a little bit that would be wonderful right okay over to the dock and then in we go and chat to the resident hello what is it here you go have a moldy old kind of stinky dead rotting fish you're absolutely welcome it's gone from the inventory perfect this will do wonderfully. I can offer you a small sum in thanks. Oh, are we going to get money? 150 money. Save travels. Okay, that's not that bad at all. That's not too shabby. 150 money gets us up to 862 monies. Very nice indeed. Okay, we're back at the pontoon. And before we wrap things up for today, I would like to maybe spend a little bit of that money we have on a lovely boaty upgrade. Because I think maybe it's time to upgrade our lights. At the moment, we've got two little kind of rubbishy lights. I don't think they're very good at all. So let's see what we've got. Right now, we've got two cloudy lenses. I mean, they don't even sound that good, do they? So they've got a range of 20 meters so that's not that good anyway and they kick out 750 lumens worth of light so combined that's what one and a half thousand lumens of light is that so i think can we look at something better so that's what we've got we could get a halogen spotlight so that's 1800 lumens for 25 meters but if we're going to do this we could possibly do it properly and get a lovely tungsten floodlight that's 2,100 lumens, and it's got a range of 30 meters. I think that's what we go for. So we can sell these. So sell both of those to yeah, recoup a little bit of the cost, because it's 350 monies. So get rid of that, and get rid of that. And then, can we please install a tungsten floodlight? That would be wonderful. So a couple of hours. And now I think if we come out of that, can we see that on the front of the boat? Because we did have two little lights. I think is that a tungsten floodlight down there? So now we've got a better light on the boat. How much money have we got? How much money do we have left? 745 money. 
we still do have a decent amount of cash remaining. Possibly, is it worth maybe grabbing one of these lovely sort of permanent boat upgrades? So one more light space, one more engine space, some more cargo spaces, uh, net spaces and rod spaces. Um, I mean, we could... Uh, we could potentially get the rod space. Hang on, how much... What have we got? What have we got in storage? Let's go and have a little look. So we've got three bits of metal and four bits of wood. And that's it. We've got no cloth or anything. So we've got metal and wood in decent supply, but that's kind of it. So we can't do that upgrade. We can't do that one. We can't do that one. We could do that one. We could get one more engine space. Oh, and that might mean we can fit another little kind of sort of a fancy super engine, whatever they're called, the little tiny ones that take up one space. Oh, let's do that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, go to storage. We can use up all of this stuff because we can just make the boat better. And yeah, we live on the boat. The boat is our home. The boat is everything. So if we can make it better, that makes perfect sense. Right, 80 monies to get that. Yes, absolutely. So now we've got one tiny little bit of extra engine space, which... Um, if we go and look, yeah, it doesn't look much right now, but if we can put an engine in that, one of those things, for 270 money, because now, of course, we're getting things for a bit cheaper, because we read a book that you gave us, thank you very much, um, yeah, that's another nine and a half knots. We can go significantly quicker, which means we can cover greater distances a bit quicker. Okay, yeah, I like that. We're going to have one of those, please. We're going to install that right there, and there we go. We can now go at 75.6 knots. That's very good. Okay, happy with that. Have you got other bits to buy? You've got another research part for 315 monies. I'm very tempted. I'm very tempted because then if we get that, I think that'll put us one research part away from getting the fancy rod done. But that will be most of our money gone. Do you know what? For now, I think that's okay. I think we've done pretty well this time around. We've kind of not really moved the main story on a bit, but we have gone and done a few of the bits and bobs. And look at that. We've nearly read the Haggling and Bartering book. That's 87% complete. So, I mean, that's not going to be too long until that's done at all. So that's going to bring our prices you know, up for selling and down for buying even more, which is brilliant. So I think, yeah, we haven't moved the story on, but next time, I think... We might want to, I realised at the very start of this video, I said, oh yeah, we're going to have a look around these islands. And we didn't at all. So possibly we could pop back and say hello to the photographer again. And then just kind of look around those islands and maybe have a look around there as well, possibly. And then it might be worth moving on, now we've upgraded the boat quite a bit, to the Stella Basin. And seeing what we can do over here. But of course, we do have the thing to do over here. The chappy over in that ancient temple wanted us to go and light some fires or do some sort of mystical, magical shenanigans. So we could possibly think about doing that as well. But I mean, plenty of options, plenty of options. But I think, even though we haven't moved the main story on, we did okay this time. We completed some side quests, quite a few of those. And of course, we do have a slightly bigger and a slightly more robust boat again, which is never a bad thing. So we'll finish up for now and we'll come back next time and we'll just go about doing what we've been doing. We shall do some more dredging, but I think, yeah, we will possibly move the main story on a little bit and have a trip out over there to the Stella Basin. I think that's what we can do next time. But for now, we'll wrap things up. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Dredge. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. We're going to go around the place with a little chest of tea, possibly. So whilst we're doing our gangstery business, we can offer people some lovely cups of tea or whatever. Penge Cupboard can buy all the teapots that have ever been made, I Imagine with that money. Yes, you're doing a fine job. Wonderful hat. You've come to the wrong place to try and annoy us. We might have to possibly introduce you to some shooty things. 